Hello and welcome to Maxim Foods Inside Track. First week of spring here in Australia. Uh, Brisbane's enjoying some great weather. It's great to see the sun out, footy finals. You know, where would you rather be? Uh, in terms of the dairy industry, another volatile three weeks. Let's have a look at it now. Starting off with whole milk powder. So yeah, whole milk powder, it's been the one to watch. Uh, it's been quite bearish uh, conditions over the last uh, three to four months on whole milk. Uh, China in lockdown, sitting out, um, there hasn't been a lot of activity on GDT. Uh, however, last night we did see a bit of a correction upwards. Uh, the futures market did predict it. Um, Southeast Asia were heavily involved in buying yesterday. China still reasonably quiet. However, we are seeing a, a bit of an uplift in, in whole milk demand. So, New Zealand's season has kicked off. Um, the Wakato is down a bit with milk, so supply won't be abundant. Uh, however, demand seems to be holding up okay uh, at the moment. So yeah, we probably should uh, predict a bit more upside in whole milk over the next two to three months. Having a look at skim milk powder now, skim milk powder over the last uh, six to eight weeks has, has really fallen off in demand. Uh, so seeing some more competitive pricing. Uh, last night on the GDT it was a 1.8, a 1.5% 1 sorry lift. So yeah, we did see some people uh, or some markets coming back. In particular, Southeast Asia again uh, buying up. It is still um, comparatively a lot cheaper than the EU skim. Uh, so we should see some healthy global demand uh, for skim, and it looks as though it may have found a bit of a level in price. Moving across to butterfat. Yeah, so looking at uh, AMF, uh, that, the GDT uh, side of things, down 8% last auction and then uh, last night up 14%. So really quite erratic uh, demand for AMF. Butter has been um, a bit more consistent, a bit of an uplift again last night. Um, EU uh, demand and supply is quite reasonably balanced, the same as the US and goes without saying that Australian New Zealand butter is the cheapest globally, so demand should hold up. Uh, Southeast Asia quite heavily buying again on, uh, on the GDT uh, and yeah, with, with vessel disruptions continuing around the world, um, you know, that the closeness of um, New Zealand to those markets um, will definitely help keep demand up and pricing sort of stable to firm. Having a look at whey powder, so on the sweet whey powder side of things, yeah, we've seen some real softness in demand globally, especially in the North Asian region. So supply also has been quite good. A lot of cheese production uh, in the EU means, I guess, a lot of whey. So, yeah, that really seems to be the um, product mix of choice uh, for EU manufacturers um, in, in terms of uh, cheddar and whey versus uh, making skim and butter. So supply has been quite good of, of sweet whey and demand a bit low. So we've seen uh, pricing remain pretty flat and, and drifting off a bit. So yeah, we'd have to see um, one of the bigger markets like North Asia come back uh, pretty hard and, and buy for it to, to tick up. So we probably will see a, a pretty flat three to six months for whey powder. On the protein side of things, yeah, we've been talking about that PC or uh, WPC80 uh, market flattening off. Um, yeah, much the same. Inventory in the EU and the US have been reasonably high. Um, so we have seen that pricing come back from the, from the ever great heights of uh, three to six months ago. So um, yeah, WPC pricing remains reasonably flat. WPI is still very healthy in demand uh, and supply not as great. So yeah, pricing continues to, um, to hold there and demand, uh, demand the same. Having a look at cheese, cheese is a bit of a tricky one at the moment. Uh, in the EU we see um, not abundance of supply, but in, in terms of demand, it has cooled off a little bit with uh, a lot of these retail prices or increases pulling through to the consumer. So yeah, it's a, a tricky piece uh, to put to, together there. Obviously being the best um, product mix for processors in terms of return, uh, they will be making um, more and more of it. 
over the season. Um, however, yeah, it's just it's the demand piece that is a bit confusing at the moment. In terms of the US, uh, we see pricing quite flat um, and supply reasonable. And then in Australia and New Zealand, um, a, a pretty finely balanced um, market as well. Once again, in Australia, we're uh, paying such a high milk price to farmers. The processors will be looking for the best stream, uh, which seems to be cheese and whey at the moment. So, yeah, there'll be there'll be product of it made. So you have to think supply will be uh, reasonable, but it's just uh, a matter of whether demand will hold up at these higher prices. So as always, yeah, very dynamic uh, dairy market out there. Um, just a final thing, I'd like to wish all the uh, fathers out there a happy Father's Day for last Sunday. Hope you got uh, sufficient socks and jocks and your cupboards are replenished now. Um, and we'll see you again in the next fortnight.